just as we've gone through the pictures, I don't know whether you've noticed if you've been looking at them and becoming involved in what you see in front of you and try to read the story, read what's going on. Did any of you notice that your emotions were starting to change? That you took on, possibly, how some of these people were feeling? So just by looking at somebody else's body language, they can affect our emotions. And this was something that Amy Cuddy thought, well, if other people can affect our emotions by their body language, can our body language affect our emotions and affect how we feel? Can we actually make ourselves feel something by the way we actually pose or stand? So she got a group of people to go into what she called high power poses. And high power poses, you've got, there's a guy here, this, when things are raised and they're up here, which makes you taller and bigger, you can see that he's in a very relaxed position. He's obviously not somebody that's worried or, or bothered about anything. This guy here, um, <laughs> this, is, this is what I call the, the guy with the big bits, because he's really not, he, he doesn't care, you know, he's, he's just, he's completely open. He is not bothered by anybody. Nobody's going to bother him. He's more powerful than anybody. Um, and this lady here, she's totally relaxed, but it's still a very powerful pose. She's got those arms up again, and she's still long. Although she's got her feet on the desk, she's still long. This lady here, that's powerful. That's right. I mean business. You're not going to take no notice. You're going to listen to me. And this is my favourite. I love this one. <coughs> this is Wonder Woman. This is my favourite pose. I love this. <laughs> So then she got them to put different, take different poses. And when she was getting them to do this, before they started doing the poses, because this was a scientific um, experiment, she took blood samples and she had a look to see what their um, hormone levels were. So when they went into lower power poses, so you've got the body protection, even his legs are crossed. This guy's protecting everything, unlike the other chap. And then this guy, that very almost fetal position of, of closing up and protecting everything. And she's now in a very low sort of position. And this one, touching the neck is an extremely protective body pose. And what she found was, when they took the blood samples from the people in the high power poses, the levels of testosterone, which is your power hormone, were very high. But the levels of cortisol, which is the stress hormone, were low. So if your testosterone is up, your cortisol cannot be up. It's, it's a balancing act. Raise your testosterone, your cortisol will drop. But these, power, these poses, the lower power poses, it was reversed. So by changing the way their body was, by bringing the body down and being closed up, actually was creating, it, their pose was telling their body how they were going to feel and that they will create cortisol which will make them feel miserable and then they feel miserable, so they still hold this pose, and they create the cortisol. Yeah.